Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to Olympia, Washington. I'm going to be taking you through some of the sounds and features of my new sample library, Gaze, available now on Spitfire Audio's Piano Book Artists imprint. Okay, so let's start just by opening up Logic and loading in the plugin. Um, this is the first patch called Jazz Disaster, and um, it's got some really, really cool sounds. Um, so we, we have a couple of different styles. These are kind of articulations that we can use. So this first one is just your basic melody. My goal at this sample library was to create something that's both incredibly imperfect, but also remarkably consistent. And so that way you can have a whole bunch of different kinds of compositions. You can throw all kinds of different um, MIDI sequences at it and it'll sound like a human is playing it versus uh, you know, a computer. And so that's also the reason that we recorded directly to tape instead of into digital. Um, because when you record to tape first, you get this, this electromechanical relationship between the sound source and the recording that I, I feel like you just don't get um, to the same level of fidelity when you're recording directly to digital. Okay, so let's jump into the mix section of the plugin. So we've got four signals and then a reverb control here. This reverse signal is coming from the high watt amplifier that we used. This, this amplifier is crazy. I mean, it's just enormous. We had all four inputs <laughs> connected to the same guitar. It was pretty insane. This signal has the cathedral reverse reverb from electro harmonics in it. And it's just here, let's, let's bring down all the other levels and just get a good listen to what that sounds like. So it's still incredibly distorted, but you get this, you get this really visceral kind of breathing sound from that reverse reverb. It's one of the essential components of shoegaze, like classic shoegaze. Reverse reverb isn't used as often as people I think think it is on shoegaze productions, but it was still really important to us to, to include it in this sample library because I still, I feel like it's a really core component of the sound. wicked. Okay, let's take a look at the DI. The DI, this is a this is just a straight signal from the guitar. Obviously, it went through the tape machine first, but uh this is a great way for you to use the recordings in this library with your own amplifier. Check this out. So this is this is before it hits the amplifier. So you're hearing this this really I've tried this out with my amp and it sounds so friggin cool. I can't wait for you to try it with yours. If you use a reamp box, which is pretty much just a direct box, but inverted, so it attenuates a line level signal um, into an instrument level signal, you'll get a lot better results than if you had just plugged, you know, a line level signal from your sound card into your amplifier. So, so please uh, don't break your amplifier, get a reamp box um, and use that if you're gonna use the DI with your own amp. Okay, let's check out the amp signal. The amp signal, is, uh, th this is just such a beautiful, beautiful sound. It's a Royer ribbon microphone recording a Music Man amplifier. And it's just, it's cranked, man. It's turned all the way up. This thing, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Take a listen. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a listen to that room mic. This room mic, is a U47 condenser microphone. Let's check out how it sounds. Beautiful. Okay, and then this reverb, uh, this, <laughs> these are four incredibly special places. Um, one is, is this incredible cathedral-like pool um, in Northwestern Olympia. The other is this old, 
old plate from the 70s, like just just beautiful piece of studio gear. Um, and then finally we have the stairwell. This is this concrete stairwell. It's a really, really reverberant, really wet sound. Here, let's let's hear the amp signal with uh, with some of that stairwell reverb. Hear what that sounds like. I love that. Okay, let's take a look. Listen to this outside reverb too. This is this is a kind of an outdoor amphitheater. It, it's got a really unique sound. That one's really subtle, but I included it because sometimes subtle is what you want from a reverb. Um, but we also have the, the pool plate and stairwell if you want one that's really intense. Okay, let's check out some of the other controls in this interface. So if you use the mod wheel on your controller, you'll notice this crazy trippy looking eye in the center of the interface. So this is a filter. And as you uh, push up on your mod wheel, it'll uh, close off that filter, um, restricting the, the higher frequencies and, and letting you hear just most of the low end. So here, let's, let's just hear what that sounds like. Underneath the filter is an envelope follower. So this, this is absolutely crazy. This uses the amplitude of the sound wave going through the plugin to drive that filter. So let's turn it on and see what it sounds like. crazy. Um, now let's, let's turn off the envelope follower and let's, let's switch over to this other ball. <laughs> that sounds weird. Let's see. So this little control at the, the top of the interface, this lets you switch between uh, a controllable filter and a controllable distortion. And your, your modulation wheel will control whatever control is in front of your interface. So you can either control a filter or you can control a distortion with your mod wheel. And what's great is that if you want to automate those, you can automate them separately through your DAW. But uh, I find that it's it's nice to be able to, to choose what control is mapped to your mod wheel. And this really simple toggle lets you do that. Um, if you have the distortion control selected and you click this envelope follower, the envelope follower will actually control the distortion instead of the filter. So check out how this sounds. It's absolutely wild. So even though it's a distortion that comes at the pretty much the very end of the signal chain, um, you get this really kind of like evolving sound from it because it's being driven by the amplitude of the input signal. So let's let's try turning up the distortion while the envelope follower is engaged and see what kind of sound we can get from that. Crazy stuff. Okay, let's let's listen to some other sounds. Um, one of my favorite elements of the shoegaze sound is something called glide guitar. It's where when you're playing a note or a chord, um, you actually use what's called a whammy bar. It's this kind of 
piece of kit that you can attach to your Jazz Master that lets you do these incredible pitch dips. Part of the core element of this glide guitar performance style is is driving the pitch down, but then bringing it back up into, into unison with the rest of your track. So let's hear what that sounds like just on the melody. This is my favorite part of the plugin, just because this is a kind of sound that you don't get in a lot of guitar plugins. You, you get these really kind of crisp, perfect melodies. And I wanted to include those, those you know, on tune melodies just so that, um, so that you would have a chance to be able to write stuff that didn't necessarily always have a gliding element to it. But really the core sound of this library is that pitch gliding, that glide guitar. Let's hear what it sounds like on a power chord. Beautiful. All right, let's hear some clean sounds because not all of shoegaze is necessarily always distorted. Um, yeah, let's let's pull up this one. Okay, this patch is called Mahayana. Let's hear what it sounds like. I love it. We've also got um, power chords in here too. We have these really cool sixth shapes. Listen to this. And then these amazing ninths. Listen to this. This is one of my favorite patches in this library. It's called Veil vale Industries. Check out the, the weird kind of ninth sound so you can get with this. And then we have gliding versions of those ninths too, so check this out. And you can select what style you're using using key switches, so you can actually dynamically perform. Check this out. Let's check out this. These, this is called a silk melody. This is crazy. Check this out. This is also gliding, but it, it's, it's got this really like chill kind of volume pedal vibe to it. I hear a lot of like horror soundtrack potential here.
And we have that in a ninth variety too. This plugin is the entire shoegaze band, and to be able to fit all that in, we included a bass and a drum kit. Here's the bass. Then we also have an amazing drum set. I'm not that good at drums, but I'm excited to hear where you can take these sounds. <laughs> then there are 15 artist presets, which make full use of the filter, distortion, and the envelope follower. Let's take a listen. I'm a big fan of the Buchla Music Easel, and I found that using some of these sounds with the envelope follower on the filter, you can create something that sounds kind of like West Coast synthy. Check this out. This is one of my favorite presets. The source sound is, is one of the synth sounds that we didn't have time to go into today, but it's, it's this crazy cool synthesizer going through this, this pedal from Earthquaker devices called Aqueduct. And it, uh, it adds kind of the gliding pitch sound to the effects signal. So I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. So just take a listen. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to these sounds with me today. If you're interested in playing with them yourself, head on over to pianobook.co.uk. See you later.